Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to evaluate variable expressions with integers. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem here, evaluate 20 minus z when z equals 12 and z equals a negative 12. And I think this is a great example to highlight what happens with just one little negative number added. Let's start with part A. Well, I have to start with my 20 minus my z. Then we want to substitute in 12 and for z. So instead of 20 minus z, we have 20 minus 12. So I'm going to take this 12 and I'm going to substitute it in for that z. So now I have 20 minus a 12. Well, 20 minus 12, pretty easy because 20 is larger than 12, so it's just going to be an 8. Not too bad. But what happens with part B here? Again, I rewrite this 20 minus a z. We're going to take the z value of negative 12, if I can find a way to get there, and we're going to plug it in for z. So 20 minus a negative 12. Well, hmm, subtracting a negative is the same thing as adding a positive. So we have 20 plus a positive 12, which again is a much easier answer, or question to answer. 20 plus 12 is a 32. So notice when z was 12, we got 8, and z was negative 12, we got positive 32. And that's just kind of how it works out sometimes, the double negatives make it a positive, but again, two very different answers. I hope you learned something here on how to evaluate ex variable expressions with integers. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.